doing a little demo here for Dropbox and what is called Selective Sync. It's scary to try to reserve space on your hard drive of your PC and wonder if you delete the file if it's going to stay on Dropbox. Dropbox installs a folder on your computer that syncs back and forth the files that you sync to it and send to it. The ones that are in the main Dropbox folder, if you delete those, those will be deleted from Dropbox as far as I know also. So what I just did and have been doing is I selected all the files in the Dropbox folder and I cut them and I made a folder March 30th 2016 today's date so I can remember what dates and whatnot I can go back to and try to retrieve my files on Dropbox and still not have them on the PC basically a backup instead of a mirroring <clears throat> effect so after cutting those I pasted them into the uh, folder that I created you'll have to wait because Dropbox then has to uh, basically update itself index itself and relocate the files to the folder on Dropbox which now is added to March 30th 2016 then with Dropbox the app I right click you go to preference you go to your account you select selective sync <clears throat> and it brings up all the folders that you've synced in Dropbox before and in your Dropbox if you want to sync them back and forth between the computer so right now the March 30th 2016 is already added just a few minutes ago and when you deselect it for selective sync or auto sync to the computer and Dropbox keeping them basically mirrored it should ask you and say um, this will delete the files off your computer but you will still have access to them on Dropbox's website so I say update Unchecked folders will be removed from your computer's Dropbox. They will still be available on the web and other devices. Now, you can remove the selective sync from the other devices as far as I'm concerned with that, like a mobile phone, iPad, other computers, and they still remain on Dropbox. Let's say OK. It deletes the folder. It was 2.5. 73 gigabytes. I'm going to apply. Say OK. I'm going to come down here to Dropbox. And it says up to date. And it's starting to sync back and forth up to date. Now, if I go to my Dropbox on the web, I should have the March. 30th 2016 still on the web and all of my files that I just cut and pasted into this folder which was all in the main Dropbox folder I don't want them on my computer I want to save them now as a backup rather than a mirror so that's how you would mirror or backup rather than mirror your files from Dropbox. The main Dropbox folder, uh, most Windows control or Explorer panels have the Dropbox folder. Click on it, your files would be listed down here. And technically, like I said, you just select them all, create a folder, cut them, not copy, cut them, paste them into that folder. Depending on how many files, wait, it'll tell you, like I said, in the app 
indexing files. Wait till it's fully complete. The box or the check mark will be on the folder. And then you just do as, like I'm going to go back over top. Just go back into right clicking the icon. Go on to preferences. Click account. Click selective sync. Now if you come back in and you click on that to selective sync that, it'll sync all those files back to your computer locally, which will take up hard drive space. But I'm not going to do that. And that's how you make a backup to Dropbox and organize and do other things to help keep space on your computer. I am going to look into mobile phones. I'm seeing a lot of questions and myself is looking at those questions, doing the same thing, wondering if my files won't be permanently deleted accidentally because of settings. So I'm going to do a video on that here in a little bit and see how I can utilize Dropbox as a backup rather than a mirroring and syncing between all devices. Just something I want to be able to upload photos and have them permanently saved on Dropbox but not my mobile phone, iPad, and stuff like that. Hope this video helps out. Uh, let me know. Thank y'all. Have a good day.